and there we go that microphone is on and I've been practicing diligently and I hear it goes we are looking at Sunnuks Gigaritan I'll say that again Sunnuks Gigaritan that's the name of, of the uh, volcano vent that we're looking at Sunnuks Gigaritan okay I'm gonna say it one more time sunny <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, is that ever a mouthful? Anyway, welcome on board, everyone. Happy uh, Sunday, uh, the twenty-first uh, of April, uh, twenty twenty-four. I'm your host, Doctor Fox Two Thousand, and you are watching a Volcano X live stream with our main featured cone, Sund Nukes Gigaritan, on the screen. And uh, yeah, uh, that uh, would, there's going to be a quiz at the end there uh, for you to be able to spell that word. <laughs> uh, so so here I'll I'll give you a hint. Uh, uh, copy and paste that into your uh, notepad so you have it for later. <laughs> oh, welcome on board, everyone, and uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, it should be uh, the Sunday Volcano. Yeah, actually, uh, no, no, uh, Henry, it's, uh, uh, they like to do uh, the number 15 there. So just like Ayafjall Ioko, E15, this one now becomes S15. And that is absolutely uh, perfect. <laughs> so uh, if you count the letters, that's exactly what it is, S15. Uh, S and 15 other letters <laughs> so, uh, uh, and of course it's it's it just rolls uh, off the tongue no it's 16 altogether but uh, yeah uh, S 15 so S plus 15 more um, yeah soon look gigaritten and uh, there's sounds in there that you don't have in the other languages uh, the U sound from the O um with the uh a dots over top we have that in german of course and uh the uh ooh with the the, the ooh, it's a little bit more of a ooh than the ooh ooh you uh sorry oh i'm, I'm i don't speak icelandic and put it that way i speak german okay anyway um beautiful weather there in iceland and we are able to see the cone and the sunny looks bright and shiny doing its thing uh never I took german uh sasha you're missing out it's a good language yeah <laughs> uh good sprache uh -huh. and uh yeah that's uh, one of those words sprache uh, you have to bring that from uh, the throat uh, that's something that you don't have in english um where you bring it from deep down it's like saying the number number eight which is acht or achtung uh, flibber what a flibber de gilbert gilbert a flibber de gilbert i i don't know what uh, language that one is uh, linda but uh, that is awesome as well <laughs> so cool oh uh, Oh, 17 letters there plus the S. Oh, okay. Uh, my bad. I uh, didn't count. I didn't have enough fingers uh, there, uh, Sue. Uh, but uh, that's all uh, all good. So we can call it S18 then. Uh, that's fine. We'll uh, leave it as that. I'm sure the uh, uh, the good people at uh, the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, U.S. Uh, Army Corps of Engineers will appreciate that abbreviation of for them <laughs> oh uh, this is uh, just absolutely wild uh, guten abend uh, uh, uh morgen uh an alle oh, <laughs> okay uh barbara welcome and uh, good afternoon good evening to you and uh also a uh, hello to uh metal only 54s here and of course uh, sue is on board henry welcome uh, sasha is here adele welcome uh, dennis oh, good to see you uh, mr pillar and uh, sparks also here 
uh, let's see, March 2028, I managed to uh, set it down properly and didn't crash. Awesome. And uh, welcome on board. And uh, who else we got? Um, I'm trying to uh, see up further up the ladder. I know there's more yeah, hiding in here somewhere. Uh, probably that uh, King Colin, amongst others. Uh, Andre, are you still uh, gone or did you make it back? And how bad did I butcher the uh, thing? And I bet you Sue, uh, Susie might be here as well. Anyway, um, a welcome to our moderators, Arizona Snowman, and the Piggy, and Sue, and CND Boy, and Yvonne Kunkel, who is now back in Germany at home. And uh, also a Siggy, and Gura, and uh, Gary, and 24-7 Live, he's at Sky. So I welcome moderators, appreciate you guys being here. And also um, a welcome to all of you that uh, are in here, whether you're in the chat or uh, lurking. I'm glad to have you all on board today, and uh, happy Sunday, so um, just uh, doing our thing. I'll be back later, okay, uh, Barbara, no worries. Um, I, I like the uh, time. Uh, Isa uh, showed uh, mission control uh, after the Ariane 5 launch, and uh, the French were celebrating the uh, Germans. Uh, we're just uh, quietly going through their data. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, hey, uh, it's the old uh, thing. Uh, don't count your uh, chickens before uh, the uh, eggs are hatched, right? Um, sometimes that's what you got to do. Uh, but, hey, it is what it is. So let's get on with what we're seeing here. Of course, ongoing activity from our volcano. And... Um, I want to kind of emphasize what we were seeing this morning, uh, something that was incredibly large. And we'll get over to the quake map right off the bat. And in the last 12 hours, we only had 19 quakes. But let's uh, put this to, uh, to uh, the 24-hour mark and see what happens. Boom, a huge a quake. And there it is, a 5.4. And uh, that is at uh, Bardabunga. And uh, uh, that uh, shook uh, pretty bad. And it, uh, well, uh, over there anyway, uh, point 0.1 was uh, the uh, depth. So 100 meters down, according to uh, what we got up here, 95 meters down. So uh, pretty much a surface quake. Uh, now, we know that area. We've seen uh, uh, the uh, videos from it. We know the uh, ice on top of it is not 95 meters or 300 feet thick. Uh, so this was definitely a ground-based uh, uh, eruption, or not eruption, but a quake. And if we uh, zoom in, uh, we can uh, take a better look at uh, where it was. Uh, there's uh, Bartabunga itself, and uh, the quake was on the edge of the uh, caldera. And uh, it would not have been a landslide. Uh, that is way too big for that. Um, and, but, um, yeah, that is uh, something to uh, consider. And when we uh, zoom out on the map, it literally uh, encompasses uh, all of uh, Iceland, but you can... Uh, be assured that everything within that circle, I'm sure they would have felt it. Um, I, I don't know how strong it would have been, but they definitely would have felt it. Uh, the other one that we don't want to leave out is the uh, accomplice here, and that's a 2.96, and it is only about uh, 926 meters down, and that came in at 653. This one was six. Uh, 37. So the uh, the uh, uh, 2.96 definitely an aftershock, and uh, that is uh, quite quite interesting to uh, see that. So uh, what does it mean? Well, well, it could be a lot of things. Could be some uh, movement, um, not necessarily an eruptive event or anything like that. But as I'm pointing out here, and uh, the uh, red line going through. That's our tectonic plate boundaries. So this is the Eurasian plate. This is the North American plate. And this is a corner right here. And this is a friction point. So are we seeing something slip by? Um, the thing that we haven't looked at is the local GPS stations. 
So did we see some a big movement there? And uh, here's a GPS here. And uh, I, I don't know how um, accurate these ones are. So let's uh, take a look. Uh, first off, uplift. Did we see anything going up there? Well, apparently we did. Uh, way up. Okay, so they had a tremendous uplift uh, from uh, what we see. And uh, let's see how high from uh, the last reading. If we put the last reading here at about this number, uh, looks like these are about fives. So uh, 5, uh, 10, uh, 15, uh, 17 millimeters. Uh, so, um, yeah, what's 17 millimeters equates to about... Uh, 1.7 centimeters, uh, just about um, uh, an inch in uplift during uh, that quake for the area. So that is interesting. Uh, motion eastward, well, it doesn't look like it moved too far that way. And uh, looks like it may have uh, moved uh, to the south, though, a, a bit, uh, looking at what we've got on here. So, southward movement of that particular sensor. So, something is slipping southward. And that is uh, quite interesting. And um, let's get off of uh, that one there. Now, this is, of course, uh, the one that we were looking at. It's um, the, right here. Uh, we can pick other ones. Let's uh, grab uh, this one here and see how it did. And... Uh, now that's on, just before we get to it, that is on the other side of the line. And this one, I thought it was over here. Uh, or did we, no, I think I made a grab of that one. We'll see, but where is this one here? Um, let's take a look at this. Uh, whoops, uh, and again, looking at uplift, I don't know if it's gonna show in here. Um, Let's see if, oh yeah, we're all the way down. So it doesn't look like that area lifted up at all. Pretty much steady there. Uh, eastward motion, uh, just slightly. And uh, what's it got here? And uh, north. So northeast from uh, that particular place uh, by a little bit. So that's just beside it, right? So that is okay for uh, that one. And again, that is this sensor here. And uh, the fact that this went northeast, I'm wondering if um, our plate boundary line isn't 100% uh, correct here, uh, because that looks a little odd. If we go and look at this one and uh, just uh, double check in here, see where it went. And uh, looking at the bottom here, so it, instead of uplift, it actually dropped a little bit there um, and looks like movement very, very little for that one. And it did move uh, to the south a little bit, according to this. So uh, that one slipped southward. So what do we got going on here if we're seeing uh, this one slip southward and this one uh, going northeast? I think uh, the uh, plate boundary may be uh, severed here somewhere and not quite accurate as to where they've drawn it uh, and um, I would conclude that um, you know the uh, one going uh, south uh, would be uh, the opposite of course uh, so you got two plate boundaries um, definitely uh, maybe uh, you know maybe it is inaccurate maybe it has shifted or moved uh, so who knows uh, but um, interesting nonetheless, um, kind of uh, makes you go, hmm, and the things that we can check on later on in life. Uh, quick peek over here, though. Uh, in the last 24 hours, we've seen nothing uh, new uh, shaking or quaking over in our eruptive area. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try that name again. It's uh, such a, a sweet name, so... Uh, it's Sundnuxgigaruden, Sundnuxgigaruden, and there you go again if you want it uh, spelled out. Um, <laughs> that's our event. Um, anyway, 
I just call it Sunny for short. It's easier. A 0.6 over there from a 1409, 7.6 kilometers down, uh, and underneath uh, uh, Frankenhoff Yelp, and uh, very uh, interesting and um, pretty a uh, cool. Hey, Yvonne Konko, uh, Biggie in Iceland. Hmm. Yep, and that is. Uh, I, I'm, Yvonne, I, I just wonder, though, where exactly the plate boundary is. <laughs> uh, not where they drew the line. and Not where they drew the line. It's over a little bit. Um, or, or we've had something break. Who knows? Maybe that's what it is. And we now have a piece of um, uh, Eurasia, or North America is now a part of Eurasia. Well, who knows? Um, it does happen. <laughs> anyway... Uh, all good, and uh, welcome, Yvonne. Uh, good to have you on board, and hope that uh, your flight home was uh, good, and everything is uh, safe and sound. Um, and I look forward to getting my lava sample. Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh boy, I, I don't think I'm going to get one. Anyway, uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, report. Yep, it's uh, rock and roll, yeah. Um, I, I was looking at this earlier, and I am a little bit hesitant of, of what they've put down here. And uh, I'm going to just uh, kind of, uh, I'll read what they put, and then don't shoot the messenger. Uh, so it may be something in the uh, translations. Uh, Reagan's Volcano Update, a likelihood of a new eruption increasing and could initiate a, a close proximity to ongoing one. Okay, so uh, looking at this chamber, uh, in early April, a new uh, ground uh, uplift started and um, may follow another magma accumulation within the magma chamber. I think this diagram is missing something. And uh, I, what I'm thinking is um, and it's uh, missing another pipe coming up here <laughs> uh, from uh, someone else in the same place that this one is coming from. And that is another chamber. And that's up to the west, uh, west sorry, east. Yeah, northeast, uh, kind of. That's what I'm figuring. Um, you know, this would be the sill under Schwartz Sengi. And uh, rather than being a flat sill, it may be more of a bulge now, <laughs> considering everything that we've been seeing. Um, and here's that a fun word again, a sunux gigariten. Sunux gigariten. And uh, there we go. Uh, it didn't take me long. And how many letters was on it? I got four, eight, um, 12. And that's 16, 17, 18 letters. It is 18. So S15 and S17 is what we're calling it. No? Is it 18? Uh, I haven't got that many fingers and toes. I'm, it's okay. Um, anyway, a little bit of um, cool stuff here. So, um, uh, is it a Scrabble? Absolutely. Uh, in Scrabble, you do a wonderful uh, job. Anyway, what they're saying here, uh, so the uh, Sunukar area, uh, there has been a notable uplift in the uh, 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 notable uh, shift in uh, volcanic activity with the increasing uh, chance of magma propagation uh, coinciding with uh, the uh, ongoing eruption of this new development uh, marks a, a departure from the previous uh, uh, cyclical uh, pattern observed uh, since uh, December. So, yeah, we are in uncharted uh, territory, um, basically, is what they're saying. This hasn't happened before. So, if, uh, the, uh, uh, if magma continues to accumulate at its current rate, the likelihood of another magma propagation uh, event within the next a few days or weeks arises, even while the current eruption persists. Notably, uh, the occurrence of the magma propagation uh, uh, during an ongoing eruption is unprecedented in this region. 
adding to the uncertainty surrounding future developments. So, yeah, I totally agree. Uh, big uncertainty as to what's going to go on. And uh, this, this is really new ground, um, you know, and I'm not trying to be uh, kind of weird here, but even uh, Yvonne uh, will have to agree with me that this is, is um, kind of a new, uh, in that sense, nobody's seen this before. Um, you know, if, if there was occurrences of this, it hasn't really been noted previously. So um, very, very a new um, predicaments that we're looking at. So um, what are we going to see in the future? Uh, thanks, uh, Tom, for the uh, five-minute warning. Uh, magma, uh, what's it say? A possible scenarios if another uh, eruption would occur. And the magma uh, would flow from the reservoir beneath Schwarzenegger to the uh, St. Luke uh, crater row as uh, observed in the uh, uh, last six instances. Okay, um, that is a one of them. Uh, subsequent uh, to this, a new eruptive fissure uh, could uh, form between, uh, what is it, Stura Gugfeld and the Hegefeld, uh, or the eruptive uh, crater uh, could enlarge and due to the sudden uh, surge of a uh, lava, uh, lava flow, uh, possibly occurring uh, with uh, minimal warning. And yeah, uh, the whole thing could uh, possibly happen with a minimal warning. If uh, the uh, magma pr uh, propagation into the uh, new a volcanic fissure elsewhere along the dike formed on November 10th. Significant uh, seismic activity, deformation, and pressure change in the borehole would likely provide uh, longer uh, advanced notice. Uh, alternatively, uh, the uh, current eruption and decline may halt and uh, transition into a steady increase until the a new balance is achieved between incoming magma and a f a surface uh, outflow from the crater. However, if the magma propagation results in a new uh, eruptive fissure outside the anticipated area, i.e. Eldwerp or some place like that and to the west, um, it could likely be accompanied by uh, seismic activity and deformation uh, providing a considerably more advanced uh, warning uh, than uh, previous eruptions. So um, that is a mouthful. <laughs> and um, that's something to uh, take uh, very carefully here uh, because it is, um, really, it is uncharted territory uh, as far as, uh, you know, where, where things are going. Um, I mean, uh, you know, we, we understand how uh, a single chamber uh, would have a supply from a lower a chamber via a dike and then a pop on up. Uh, and once it uh, was overpressured and create another dike and an eruption, uh, that's a pretty straightforward. But I think what's going on here is we've got a deeper chamber coming up to a sill that's somewhere under Franklin Fjell. And uh, from uh, there, we've got a pipe uh, going over to Schwarzenegger, uh, another dike. And uh, from uh, Schwarzenegger, we've got the original dike there in the uh, north of Hegefeld doing its thing. Uh, but I think we also have another source that may have branched off um, a very similar area of the uh, other uh, chamber that I thought it might uh, be underneath uh, uh, Frank of Fjalls. And again, this is all hypothetical because when well, we have no ability to slice the side of the earth open and have a look and see what's going on. And boy, would I love to do that right now. I'm saying, hey, I can predict this. <laughs> so it uh, doesn't uh, really work that way. But uh, nonetheless, and this is all uh, very interesting. So, um, you know, we could be in line for uh, two uh, seismic events. Or, or sorry, uh, two uh, uh, volcanic events at the same time. And, um, you know, seeing the uh, pressure build up here, 
uh, I'm wondering, and of course the original dike intrusion uh, was uh, somewhere uh, in this vicinity here, just north of uh, Grinvik, uh, where it came up from uh, Schwarzengi and uh, then uh, fed uh, this area. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, in uh, the uh, near future. So um, very, very uh, interesting. Um, <laughs> it'll actually be really uh, cool uh, to see. So uh, hopefully we will uh, be witnessing a first and uh, that will be really awesome to see. And now we've uh, already uh, seen with, uh, you know, uh, back in the days of the Bob, when the Bob died out and everybody thought, oh, okay, this is over. And then uh, all of a sudden we got a whole fissure popping open, a whole dike basically opened up and um, I created a bunch of different events and um, these things happen right so um, we've seen that but we haven't seen this scenario where we've got a, a, um, a magma chamber or sill filling up while there's an active volcano continuing and uh, that's a little bit more business than uh, than usual in my opinion but hey it is what it is and uh, it'll be uh, new and interesting uh, to uh, see what we've got going on anyway um rather than me rattle and uh, bang here with uh, my voice i'm going to uh, put us back onto the volcanic action and uh, let you observe that while i go take a break ladies and gentlemen so if uh, you like uh, what you're hearing so far, that is awesome. And uh, again, take everything with a grain of salt that I have said. That's uh, my beliefs or my hypotheses. It's uh, not written in stone in any way, shape, or form, or in magma. <laughs> so, uh, hardened stone. And uh, we'll see what happened. Um, and uh, yeah, we had more people... Uh, before we go here, we had more people walking on the lava. And uh, I, I don't know exactly uh, uh, who I want to blame here. <laughs> but, uh, oh, uh, let's see. I got to find that. Uh, I got to find that. Where the heck, uh, what camera view was that on? Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think of where I've got that view hiding right now. I um, want to throw that before I go on my break. Um, the lava walkers. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, we got a picture of uh, the lava walkers, and uh, we can show you guys. So, uh, there's the cone, and you can see the green circle there. Hey, uh, Yvonne, did you uh, ever confirm if uh, those were your cohorts, uh, your uh, co-workers there, or if uh, that was uh, just some? random strangers uh, wandering out into the lava field. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, uh, but we have a schnapps at home. Uh, LOL, if Grinovic gets destroyed and I'm not at work, it's uh, schnapps time. Uh, no uh, colleagues. Okay, uh, they are colleagues. Okay, so those were uh, volcanologists out there. But um, regardless, what that does, it does give you uh, a good size comparison as to how big that cone is. Now, they're still quite a distance away from the cone uh, at that point. And uh, that is massively, massively uh, large, that cone. So um, I'm sure these aren't uh, uh, little midgets, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, I thought that I throw that picture in just before I went, and uh, we'll go take my break now. Uh, for those good people who have not hit that like button, give it a quick pop. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. And on those friendly notes, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, uh, Canada, and I'm going to go take a break. I'll be back in a bit. Don't go away. I bought the like button. Here's some music. I'll be back.
And there we go. The microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching Volcano X a live stream. And uh, thank you, Sue and uh, Jim and Susie and Henry and Arian Six, who's here, and Yvonne Konko. Uh, thank you uh, for the uh, welcome backs, you guys. And also Hermine and Fluffy and Mars and uh, Barbara and Sheila. And Sasha, <laughs> have I got everyone? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, awesome. Uh, okay, so, yeah, um, you know, we discussed what was going on earlier there as far as uh, the activity of where the uh, lava may, or magma may be coming from and this kind of stuff and what could possibly happen. We didn't look at the uplift and chart yet. And we want to take a look at that real quick. Uh, so um, let's uh, take a look. At, I'm going to refresh this one real fast. And uh, we can uh, take a look. And, of course, the uh, first thing you notice is the massive spike that was uh, coinciding with the uh, big quake, that 5.4 over at, at Barnabunga. Uh, but um, what we see here, though, is a downward trend on our magmatic signals. Uh, mind you, um, it's um, because it went way up above the 4,000, our arbitrary line of eruption there. It's all good. Um, still uh, sitting uh, above it, though, and uh, we've seen a slight uh, decline in seismicity as well as a tectonic movement with the exception of this uh, big uh, smudge here. And uh, that is uh, all good. So... Are we going to see them uh, get uh, back together uh, closer to the line? In all likelihood. So, um, don't know. It's still pretty early to be able to uh, determine what is going to go on there. Uh, like we mentioned previously, this is uh, kind of a new uh, frontier of uh, what's going on there in uh, Iceland. Um, people haven't really seen or um, had the... Uh, kind of a double whammy, if you will, uh, as of yet. And uh, this is uh, definitely going to be a first if we get a second eruption in that same uh, area. Anyway, looking at the uplift, uh, we see uh, the uplift is still continuing very much so on the way up. And if we uh, take a look across, where are we uh, line-wise? Well, I, I think we're going to end up... Uh, um, surpassing that threshold mark. Uh, one of the things uh, that we do have to consider is every time we get to a threshold here, our next threshold is going to be slightly higher due to uh, everything expanding and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, things to think about. Uh, uh, saying uh, going to sleep now, have a good, uh, long, uh, had a long day. Yeah, with all that travel. Uh, enjoy the show, uh, everyone, and have a great uh, day slash night. See you tomorrow. Uh, good night, Yvonne. Uh, sleep well and uh, get some rest now in your own bed and that you're back at home. There's never uh, a, a place like home. So uh, no place like home, as uh, the old saying goes. Um, good night, Yvonne, and uh, thanks for uh, popping in. I appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm looking at what we've got going on. Um, yeah, you know, and like I said, it is uncharted territory uh, with uh, having uh, an intrusion uh, that, in, you know, the uh, sill and filling up the magma chamber, if you will, um, with uh, so much uh, magma again, and yet we've got an ongoing eruption. And uh, again, I think uh, somewhere along the way, um, we have to realize that the eruption itself is being fed uh, from a different source other than the uh, current um, sill. Otherwise, it wouldn't be erupting the way it does. It would have uh, likely died out. We would have uh, seen a decrease in, in um, the uh, uprise or uplift uh, there in Schwarzenegger. Uh, it's uh, pretty simple that way. So we have to be getting our magma uh, from a different source. And like I said before, uh, hypothetically, it, it is um, the, uh, you know, another sill that is likely under a Frankadal Fjells that is actually a feeding uh, both the Schwarzenegger uh, sill 
as well as this current uh, um, if event. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is happening. Um, that means that's a fairly long pipe to get over there. And uh, anything could happen. And a big quake like a 5.4 if it uh, shifted the right way and could crack that pipe and, and make a mess and uh, it could stop our volcanic activity and the uplift or it uh, could uh, and again this is a hypothetical um, or it could open it up and um, we could have a new vent uh, somewhere uh, further to the east there under Franklin Fjall or someplace like that um, which would really be um, kind of weirdish, uh, in uh, my opinion. But anyway, and that is uh, kind of what we got going on. So lots of uh, different uh, scenarios and activity and uh, things that we can think about. Uh, let's uh, go over to our next one. So, and uh, we're going to uh, carry on with other stuff around the world. Uh, looking at uh, Popo Cantepetl, Central Mexico. Uh, very cloudy conditions there. This is uh, about 70 kilometers south southeast of uh, Mexico City. And uh, we uh, do see some snow on the side of uh, the mountain. So they've got some inclement weather uh, that uh, came in and uh, kind of uh, doing its thing. There you can see those uh, clouds earlier. And we've seen a whole bunch of the uh, white uh, powdery substance all over it. Uh, yes, that is a frozen dihydrogen monoxide. It's not a sh uh, icing sugar. <laughs> it happens. Uh, we do see some uh, pluming, uh, degassing happening and con uh, continuing on. Yep, icing sugar. There's uh, more of it here uh, earlier in the morning, uh, 7 uh, 28 a.m. Uh, their time. And uh, of course, the uh, gaseous uh, uh, cloud up here, a uh, very white looking, so uh, likely not much. Um, uh, tephra or other materials within, you know, uh, very little uh, um, ash and uh, that kind of material uh, being ejected, just gases mainly, which technically is tephra anyway. Anything coming out of, of the uh, event is uh, tephra. So um, our morning shot right there, and uh, when we uh, go back in time a little bit, it, it did look like it had tried to build a lenticular cloud. Now, Hard to tell if uh, this is being lit up by uh, the early morning sunlight, uh, but let's get back a little bit further in time. We don't see any light there, so I don't know how much of uh, that might be from, uh, you know, how much lava is sitting up on the top, whether it's all crusted over. I imagine if it snowed on top, we may have a, a cold layer up there. And uh, here's some uh, more degassing happening. But again, a lenticular cloud trying to build up after that snow fall uh, from um, yesterday. Anyway, uh, 3.56 was uh, the time on that. If we uh, go back a little bit further. Oh, I uh, didn't uh, love that. Uh, let's uh, go. Uh, let's see how far we get here. Uh, 2.57. Yeah, uh, that's about it. And prior to that, it was it was the, uh, the cloud had moved in and uh, snowed. I think this is the remnants of uh, that uh, material that uh, moved on and gave a uh, cold uh, perhaps rain uh, to some of the other areas anyway uh, that's uh, kind of what we got at uh, Popo Cantipetl uh, Central Mexico let's uh, go on to our next one and uh, we are going to uh, this is uh, Fuego in Guatemala you know a pretty a normal lovely view uh, let's see um, what happened here uh, well we have some eruptive activity but we also have a warning here it says uh, no see ha uh, podido in CR al uh, installer something uh, updates oh is it asking for windows updates oh a uh, java update required okay <laughs> I just had to figure that out, but uh, unfortunately, um, that logo was uh, sitting right in the middle of the screen, and uh, that's where our vent is. So um, we are not going to be seeing uh, much there, and we'll leave that be a nice moonshot, though. And next one is uh, from yesterday. Let's refresh that shot and see what we got. 
Yep, more rocks falling in. Um, this is a uh, Messiah volcano, and uh, what's left of it? It's uh, filling up with rock debris as the edges are crumbling more and more and more. And uh, just uh, filling that thing up, and it'll take forever for that uh, lava to make it uh, back to uh, the surface. Let's leave that one alone. That's Messiah, Nicaragua, going from the south to Costa Rica. And we don't see anything there. How about um, that's uh, supposed to be? Oh, hang on. We have a picture. And it's a beautiful one at that. <laughs> it's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, Rincon del La Vieja in Costa Rica in the jungle. And uh, that is uh, looking pretty awesome. We uh, definitely see some heavy uh, degassing, uh, which is uh, something that we should be seeing. And uh, a lovely uh, uh, crater up top there. Unfortunately, no fresh lava, nothing uh, running out, and uh, no people running away or anything like that. So, all uh, cool, and uh, we'll uh, leave that one. That is a nice uh, shot. Actually, a blue sky uh, for a change. Nice to see that. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully these uh, jungle craters in here uh, realize it's uh, just the sun up there. <laughs> so, uh, might uh, build up the pressure and shoot out uh, all the loose some rocks. Uh, it could, it could sue. It depends on how much weight is on top. Uh, and uh, this next one here is a Poaz, also in Costa Rica. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are seeing a volcano gray. And um, this morning, very early, I had refreshed the picture, of course. And it um, updates every 60 seconds. And you could actually see the thing, <laughs> which was amazing. And I'm going, well, well, maybe we'll get lucky today and we'll have a nice uh, shot. But um, that is uh, what it is. So uh, that is in Costa Rica. Let's uh, leave that alone. We'll head uh, further south. And this one is uh, down in Chile. Actually, uh, two of them in Chile. And uh, actually, I uh, refreshed that. Um, that is uh, yesterday's uh, from late last night. And it looks uh, pretty scary uh, looking there. Uh, we'll get rid of that, that one. We did that yesterday. I'm going to refresh that. I, I thought I refreshed it uh, this morning. Uh, maybe it was during the night that I did that. I, I can't remember. I was up at uh, 2 a.m. I checked on the computer and made sure everything was going. And uh, it was. So it was all good. Uh, so, yep, Laguna del Mole in uh, Chile. I'm doing okay. Nothing fancy in there. We'll leave that one be. And the other one, of course, is Via Rica in uh, central Chile. And uh, it's uh, trying to have a lenticular cloud on top of it, as we see in this uh, time lapse. But um, it is still continuing to degas, do its uh, wonderful thing. And uh, we will leave it as uh, that. So all cool. And uh, we'll put uh, that one back to here and uh, get us back to make sure everything is uh, small. And uh, let's go somewhere where we haven't gone for a while. And uh, this is um, Yellowstone. And we haven't been there for a bit, so I figured we'll uh, go over there and have a look. Yellowstone National Park. And uh, uh, the uh, snow has um, melted as a whole bunch, but not all of it. And, of course, uh, you are uh, more than welcome to uh, pop over there the, if you haven't... Uh, uh, taking a look at this, uh, Sue has the uh, link brought up there for uh, Old Faithful and uh, the Upper Geyser uh, Basin. And, of course, there are over 500 active geysers uh, within uh, that Yellowstone area. And uh, many other uh, still cameras and things like that. So you are more than welcome to uh, um, do that uh, site. Uh, no, a little too cold for mosquitoes yet there. Uh, I don't know what, uh, somebody want to bring up the weather for Yellowstone, uh, Yellowstone Park, and uh, take a look. I don't think it's uh, uh, the uh, right uh, um, right uh, time of a year yet for uh, those mosquitoes. They need a little bit warmer, I uh, think. Uh, yeah, 14, well, uh, they could, uh, 14 Celsius. Uh, that can be warm enough for mosquitoes to uh, come and get you. At least the Canadian ones are. Uh, ours here, of course, though, are wearing winter jackets and stuff. 
but um, you know they have fur on them and uh, that kind of thing. A bit, uh, nasty guys, but um, maybe and they migrated down there. They're a tough mosquito up here. They are really. Uh, they um, they have thermal underwear on too. <laughs> oh boy, uh, that's why they're so darn hard to kill. Anyway, um, yeah, and uh, a little effect about mosquitoes. I don't know if you uh, guys know, it's only the uh, female mosquitoes bite. Uh, the males, they can't be bothered. Uh, so uh, just uh, remember that. <laughs> All right. Uh, mega mosquitoes in Edmonton. Uh, yeah, well, not right now. Um, it's uh, too cold. And we'll go uh, uh, and uh, we'll we'll get our fair share though. Uh, they need a blood to make eggs. Yes, they do, and uh, that is our blood. Uh, it's uh, fun to say a jelly. Uh, who's talking about jelly? Jelly storm. All right, uh, contradiction and jelly storm. Uh, let's uh, leave that one be. I can uh, do one more here. Let's uh, go to Hawaii real quick. And uh, of course, I don't have the uh, website up, or sorry, uh, the uh, stream. I will get that uh, real quick. And uh, there, we got it. Okay, so uh, that's Hilamauma'u Crater uh, in Hawaii. That is Kilauea uh, on uh, the big island of Hawaii. And it's, I'm not doing a heck of a lot. Um, looking at a crack through here, still about the same, really hasn't changed much. The uh, depression over here, still about the same, hasn't uh, sunk away anymore. And uh, the old uh, West Band still doing its thing, Pig Island still showing, and uh, the rest of the caldera still intact. So, uh, pretty awesome. Let's uh, make that one smaller, leave it there. We'll go over to the uh, thermal, have a quick peek at that. And uh, we did the thermal and uh, looking at what we see here, just so you have a good idea, this area on the edge here, this is, of course, up top, outside of the uh, actual uh, caldera. This is uh, way up top. And this is the ambient uh, temperature of the, the rock up there, um, heated by the sun. So if you see that color or that brightness in uh, amongst the uh, stuff within the uh, caldera itself, that is likely just sun heated, uh, but uh, some of these brighter areas, that is heat from underneath, and that is coming through and filtering upward uh, from uh, the magma slash lava underneath there. Uh, anyway, looking at some of the spots, you can see those uh, brighter plumes around the edges. That's where those steam vents were. We are still seeing uh, brighter areas along that uh, whole back wall. Uh, so, um, yep, it's uh, still pretty much normal, uh, the uh, status quo of uh, what's going on. So let's uh, leave it as that. This is not liquid lava. This is a covered, uh, uh, well, there's a lava slash magma underneath there. And, of course, it's uh, covered in a thick and crusted over lava that has cooled uh, somewhat. Don't go walking on there. And uh, that is uh, dangerous. Uh, you're not allowed to. Anyway, let's leave it as that. Let's go back to Iceland and uh, watch our beautiful views from there. I'll get those cameras working again uh, because uh, they like to stall when we're not looking at them, right? Or hang on, they like to stall whether we're looking at them or not. And uh, let's see if we can get the other one going there. And uh, one more, um, that one on the end, okay. Uh, that should be uh, there. Okay, I think I got them all moving now. They are too. So awesome and uh, enjoy the lava. I'm going to go take a break. Uh, for those good people who are here, if you have not yet bought that like button, please consider doing that. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed and you're enjoying the show so far, please consider subscribing. Help us out and let us grow our channel. On those friendly notes, after the break, we'll have bacon seeds supplied by Piggy. Yay! And on that note, I'll be back. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. Keep smiling. Here's some music. I'll be back.
we go that microphone is on uh, welcome or welcome back everyone I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 you're watching Volcano X live stream and uh, thank you uh, for the uh, welcome uh, backs there from uh, Sue and Sarah and uh, Sasha and the uh, Mars 2028 and Arian 6 uh, and uh, thank you for the uh, wonderful uh, super chat there Arian 6 also uh, thank you Susie and uh, everyone else um, appreciate that um let's see let's i uh, carry on with stuff we uh, did have a look at uh, our um uh, thanks uh, john as well appreciate it and uh, andre uh, thank you um and hermie and then fluffy uh, popped in there as well i they must have all been busy either that or they're lagging <laughs> i hope everything is good um and uh, there is sharon stewart going i hear you dr fox 2000 <laughs> uh thanks uh, sharon and uh, thank you uh, jam and sue and uh everyone else uh being here the whole time awesome uh andre and uh fade out fade out oh i gotta work on that all right uh, no worries uh, singing, improving, and uh, doc. Uh, thanks, uh, Susie. <laughs> I'll uh, try to do it on my head, uh, having a piece of a uh, pizza next time. All right. Um, there we go. Uh, so uh, let's uh, carry on with other wonderful things. We had a look at uh, our Hawaiian stuff. We had a look at uh, Central and South America. So, um, yeah. Uh, and uh, oh it's a bacon seeds time is it really sue are we going there all right fine i'll do bacon seeds by popular demand <laughs> anyway and uh, that's our last wonderful bacon seed from yesterday and let's see what uh, piggy has uh, sent us now and uh, there we go uh, we've got Oh, we got the black and white uh, guys looking at us. He's uh, got a snump bobber ready to go. And I uh, don't know what's going on here, but uh, he looks interesting. And he's got some friends. <laughs> I gotta watch out. Uh, squished nose, yeah. He um, I ran into the fence. It's okay, and there is Sasha. Uh, or, uh, no, hang on, uh, John. <laughs> uh, here's another one. Uh, might even be the same one. I can't really tell. Let's uh, go back and double check. Um, okay, uh, the uh, shape of uh, that white patch on his head. Let's uh, take a look. Nope, a different one, a different side. Uh, so, uh, definitely not the same pig. And uh, Spotty McGee. All right. Um, yep, uh, this one happens to be a Spotty McGee. And uh, let's uh, get to the uh, next one. Oh my God, I'm seeing spots before my eyes all kinds of them and uh all right how many spots on this picture <laughs> uh pepperoni for a uh, doggy uh yeah no uh this is uh i don't know how many spots but i see four <laughs> uh four four bacon seeds um yeah that is a uh, pretty awesome Let's uh, get to the next one. And, ah, uh, uh, this one whispering sweet nothings into Mama's ear. Uh, going, hey, Mommy, I want to go out and play. Can I go out and play? <laughs> uh, it's either that or uh, can I just cuddle up here? Your warm, furry uh, body. Uh, very, uh, very uh, furry. A uh, striped uh, bacon. Yep, uh, they are. I want milk. Yeah. Well, they can go at a self-serve a milk bar there. So uh, they can always go on their own. Um, yep, and let's get to uh, the next one. And uh, these are outdoor ones. And uh, they are uh, designed to be out in the cold. They have a sheep wool for clothes. And that is a pretty awesome. <laughs> and uh, sheepish for sure. Uh, uh, John... I, I think it, uh, that's kind of a bad comment. <laughs> uh, fleecy uh, pigs, piggies. Uh, yeah, 
I think it's a bad. Maybe it's oink, oink. <laughs> uh, here's another one. Uh, yep, I definitely got a coat on. And uh, very uh, cool. And uh, that looks like a mama's up and at it. <laughs> uh pretty awesome and um all oh, cool okay a lot uh let us uh, continue on here and our uh, next uh, bacon seeds are these ones more little tiny ones with uh racing stripes and uh, long snouts uh, kind of a uh, cool to see see and that snout he hasn't run into any walls yet He's managed to avoid most of them, but it too will get wrinkled up just like everyone else in the pig family, and it'll get a little shorter. Um, you know, they have to stop somehow, uh, but um, yep, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, give him time, give him time. He'll uh, grow into it. Uh, next one is uh, this guy, and again, he's uh, uh, shown us his uh, fur coat, and of course, he's Looks like he's sleeping standing up. Um, he's got his eyes closed. <laughs> uh, yep, uh, snout brakes. Yep, uh, those are uh, good. Everybody's got air brakes and uh, power brakes, but uh, they got snout brakes. Let's uh, get to our next one. And uh, there we go. Uh, some uh, more little ones with... Uh, uh, growing uh, coats with uh, curly hair and uh, whatever it is. These are the uh, long snouted kind. A uh, long snooted kind? I don't know. Is that, that the right way to say it? Long snooted. Snouts. Snouts is snooted. Uh, anyway, sheep seeds. Yeah, Sasha, that's bad. Bad, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Let's get to our last bacon seed for today and see what we've got. And that is these guys. Ah, these are the red ones. And these ones are certainly growing. And, uh, of course, they don't have to stop too quickly because they've got those long snouts. And they can see further. Maybe their ears are better. Oh, hang on. They've got radar devices attached to their ears. Uh, that helps them out. And that way um, they don't crash into the walls. Ginger seeds. Yep, and could very well be. It looks like they're feeding on some feed. And uh, rusty woolly pigs. Yep, and they are awesome. And that's our last uh, bacon seed uh, for today. Or bacon seeds. And a big uh, thank you to Piggy for sending uh, those in. And uh, listening uh, for insults. <laughs> yeah, uh, possibly. Um, yeah, anyway, and that is awesome. Thank you very kindly, Piggy, and I really I do appreciate it. Uh, Doc, you make me laugh. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'll, I'll try and to do that again next time. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Piggy. Uh, there we go. And that's uh, what we need to do. All right, uh, let's uh, carry on with, uh, more fun stuff around the world. So we, uh, Got to our first set of uh, volcanic activities, and there, let's uh, go to other places, and uh, we'll head over here to uh, Indonesia and uh, see what we got going on there. Uh, pictures a lot better today, not so fuzzy, and uh, we can see a couple of uh, vent eyes up top. It is a 4:21 in the a.m. there. Uh, it's a Merapi in uh, Central Java, Indonesia. This is live, and we're going to just uh, slide back and see if we can uh, spot some uh, bacon flow. Um, there was a little bit of there. I don't know if uh, that uh, turned into anything. Well, uh, a little bit of bacon. Uh, very uh, short-lived uh, flow, though. Uh, just a tiny little uh, one. And uh, let's see. Um, this one had a little bit uh, more activity. And this is at uh, 332. And if we go back, and I'm looking for larger flows here and uh, that would have been somewhere around here i think maybe yeah a little bit more bacon coming down the hill 2 30 at or sorry at 2 28 a.m and uh, definitely worthy of looking at the, the bacon so pretty awesome and um what else we got uh in here 
just looking to see if there's a little bit more uh, that is uh, larger in size. Um, yeah, I don't think it was overly active, but let's see if I can a spot of this one here. It, it should be right around here somewhere. And um, the preceding's it should be just uh, right about there. Hang on. Where are we here? Uh, go faster. There we go. That's uh, the beginning of it at the 46 minutes after midnight at their time. And of course, that is in our future since they are across the international uh, dateline. And of course, they're in uh, tomorrow already uh, at the 46 minutes after midnight of their time there. So a little bit of bacon uh, coming down the hill. And uh, nice to see. Again, this is Merapi, and that is in Central Java, Indonesia. Ongoing activity uh, into the future. Yep, and they and did their 88 miles per hour and generated the 2.86 gigawatts or gigawatts or whatever they call that on that show to get there. And uh, they brought the uh, volcano in a little... Um, what is it? A DeLorean a car. Anyway, some a nice um, broken bacon there, and that looks uh, pretty good. Let's uh, go back a little further, and uh, this was at uh, 2245. We see it is in a kind of in a cloud situation there, but if we expedite it, you can see some of that lava uh, making its way down here in boulder format, so a little bit more uh, rocky stuff uh, rolling uh, down the hill, and... Uh, that's a pretty cool uh, and other than that I don't think there was a heck of a lot more um, maybe uh, this uh, one one more here let's see if we can uh, spot this one um, again it, it didn't come out so heavy here and a lot of it must be a uh, fairly cold uh, looking at the IR cam though you can see as those uh, boulders tumble down the hill and uh, blow up literally hitting things it uh, looks uh, pretty cool. And uh, we can see the uh, spatter scatter, if you will. So uh, pretty awesome. Uh, there might be, oh yeah, here, this one. Uh, there's uh, one more here. I think this one is a little bit uh, bigger of an eruption, although the cloud was a little uh, thicker. Um, still, if we expedite that, you can see there's a little bit more bacon uh, going down the hill. Ni uh, 1904 was the time, or... 7.04 p.m. in their time, and you can see uh, some of that heading down in uh, several uh, directions there, so pretty cool. And uh, that is uh, Merapi, Central Java, Indonesia. Let's uh, leave that there. Uh, thumbs up for uh, Merapi today. It supplied the bacon all the way through, and uh, happy about that. Uh, let's uh, make that smaller and uh, put it uh, back on live. That's the current shot. And we'll make this go away. We'll go to the next one. And we'll take a look and see if Madame Ruxa has anything. And it looks like she does. And uh, this is early in the morning uh, for them at 6.30. Oh, hang on. At 6.30 p.m. Uh, my bad. It's not morning. This is a nighttime. And I have no idea where she's looking. Um trying to see the landmarks there is the uh, end of our volcano and we don't see uh, much going on there and uh, yeah really uh, it's uh, just the uh, people uh, in the water they're swimming at 6 30 at night and it's a gorgeous sunset now um, notice how red the sky is um, I want to point that out because that redness is uh, caused by Ruang's SO2 output and uh, that is uh, what we've got going on over there. So, um, yep, pretty uh, pretty cool. Let's uh, give uh, that a quick thumbs up. And uh, we'll actually uh, stop that. And we'll continue on. And uh, see uh, what we've got going on at uh, this uh, next one. Um, yeah, I'm not uh, the greatest of uh, views here. If we uh, go back a little bit, I'm uh, trying to find uh, Mount, uh, Mount Ruapehu. Uh, Mount Ruapehu, where are you? Uh, in the clouds. Um, not going to see Mount Ruapehu today. Uh, that is uh, not good. If, and even if we uh, go back a little bit, 
yeah it looks like it was uh, pretty much covered in cloud work so uh, no Mount Ruapehu in uh, central New Zealand's North Island we'll leave uh, that be and we'll go to our next one and that is a uh, Chao Po and of course a uh, Chao Po is uh, the uh, big uh, lake and uh, is uh, the actual caldera for the volcano so the lake you see that is the caldera and of course uh, in uh, the background here you can see uh, that uh, mountain in the foreground uh, well behind it is where Mount Ruapehu is and you can see all that cloud it looks uh, darn windy there uh, temperature 14 celsius uh, 57 fahrenheit nine miles per hour 14 kilometers an hour 75 percent of relative humidity and a bunch of tourists uh, trying to escape i i don't know uh, where they're going maybe looking for warmer uh, temperatures <laughs> uh go out to the peninsula it's warmer there by a couple of degrees anyway that is a uh, pretty cool and uh, very very awesome and that is uh, no flea market today it is a monday of course there at 10 28 a.m there in uh, new zealand uh tourists yeah suitcases and uh, rental car rental car um, I'm surprised they know how to drive on the wrong side of the road. It's okay. I will leave it to me. And uh, this guy here, of course, he's a, he's a garbage uh, picker. He's got a bag and he's got one of those uh, tong thingies. He's uh, wandering around looking for kibbles and bits uh, to pick up. Um, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. You know, and uh, we appreciate uh, all the people and that do that kind of work. Keep a nature a little bit more clear. Uh, same with uh, this dude over here. So a couple of them working away. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's uh, get us uh, back over to our uh, Icelandic uh, stuff. And uh, we'll uh, get those uh, screens uh, moving once again. Uh, give me a second or two. And we're going to make sure that uh, everything else is working. Uh, hey, they're all working. All right. Um, I didn't have to do much. That is awesome. Okay. Uh, so for those good people who are uh, here uh, who haven't yet bought that like button, please uh, help us out. Give it a quick shot. Also, if you are sitting in the lurker's lounge peeking on in, and you haven't uh, decided to uh, subscribe yet, please uh, consider that if you're enjoying the show. On that friendly note, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and I am going to go on a break. And uh, when we come back from the break, and we'll have a look at Japan, and then after that, we'll do the volcano report, and we'll go from there. So, a uh, lots more to come. Uh, thanks, everyone. Stick around. Here's some uh, music. If we can get it on there. No, hang on. That's better. We'll do that. Okay. I will be back. Keep smiling and uh, don't go away. More to come. Thanks.
And there we go, that microphone is back on. Oh, welcome or welcome back everyone. I'm glad to have you on board and uh, uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs there, uh, uh, Sasha and uh, who else? Um, hang on, I'm not trying to do something. <laughs> there we go. All right, I fixed and then up. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, John and Sasha and the Mars 2028 and Sue and uh, Alba Girl and Arian Six and uh, Susie and hey, <coughs> let's add two that again. I hear you, Doctor Vox Two Thousand from uh, Sharon Stewart. And I seen a quad or a four by four uh, go by just a second ago. I'm not sure why they're up there anyway. And uh, thanks, uh, Barbara and uh, Andre and uh, Grandma B in the house. A welcome and thanks, as well as uh, I think I got everybody. Uh, him, lol, and uh, uh, who a uh, dog. Okay, uh, all good. Okay, uh, you need to um, record, uh, Doc, and save your voice. <laughs> yeah. ah. John, I've been trying to get uh, Sharon to send me a recording of her doing that, but she just is uh, either a mic shy or something. I have no idea. Um, I'm uh, trying. I'm trying. Maybe, uh, w maybe with some external pressure, she'll uh, bow down and uh, do it. AI, Doc. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dr. Octopus, uh, 7611. Uh, yep, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, uh, that'll get your, uh, octangular, uh, interests uh, going, eh? Uh, can't uh, figure it out yet. <laughs> uh, sh uh, Sharon, uh, I, as much as I, uh, uh want to say, okay, uh, I, I just uh, don't believe you. Uh, you use Skype, you're able, or whatever it is, uh, or something, and uh, uh, that in itself uh, tells me that you have more abilities than you are uh, letting on to here. <laughs> so, uh, it's all uh, good, Sharon, it's all good. Uh, I uh, I put it as a mic try. <laughs> oh, it's uh, fun to sing, but uh, who uses Skype in uh, 2024? I don't know. Uh, some people do. Um, apparently, it's still in this piece of software that I'm using. Uh, but um, yeah, it's uh, what's that other one? Uh, Zoom. Everybody is doing Zoom. Zoom, Zoom. And uh, FaceTime. Yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, let's go over here and uh, take a look and see what we've missed. Ice cream boat is in. Anyone needing ice cream, get down there. Go down the road down here. Uh, very little traffic. You can head on down. It's Monday. It's all good. They're uh, very low. It's uh, 6 uh, 43 a.m. So hardly anybody on the road. Uh, you can see uh, that there's some uh, buses and stuff here. But just follow them uh, down the road. And when you get to the lights, hang a left. And uh, get down there to uh, the boat dock. And uh, Sue's on her way. Awesome. And uh, I'll uh, take a tiger tail uh, today. Or a tiger... Uh, Whatever it is, <laughs> um, that'll be awesome. Anyway, uh, the uh, volcano that we normally see in the background is obscured by uh, clouds, unfortunately. And we'll uh, carry on, take a look at the uh, close-up and uh, see what it looks like right after the commercial breaks that they've introduced. Um, how about, oh, oh, what happened here? Oh, no, our um, Asama is not working. Let's see, Asama Volcano. Oh, uh, no, uh, that's uh, not working. Let's uh, go back live. Oh, no, Asama is offline. Oh, no, that's horrible. Uh, let's uh, go to ASO. ASO? Yeah. Uh, yeah, ASO and not doing well. <laughs> uh, well, my report from ASO is Volcano Gray. Uh, all right, and there we go. It is what it is. Help yourselves, everyone. Plenty of flavors. Awesome. And uh, when we go back through, uh, we don't see anything from ASO at all anywhere along the way. So 
a little bit in the, the parking lot and that's it and we don't see any glow out in the distance here so um, likely a foggy and uh, a no visibility so let's uh, scratch ASO for today uh, let's uh, skip this ad and we'll see what these uh, pterodactyls are doing they're swarming uh, they're waiting uh, for the uh, fish guys anyway uh, there is our uh, volcano in the background covered in clouds if we uh, go back a little bit more uh, more clouds isn't that a surprise yeah and uh, bright lights and uh, more clouds over top of the volcano um oh, wow what a surprise and um yep and this is at 1 15 a.m the moonlight is uh, lighting up the clouds and if we go back a little bit further there we can finally see the volcano and the fact it is in fact indeed degassing at the 2320 uh, there a time yesterday and which is still in our future um yet to come and uh, prior to that uh, they had more clouds so um that is a kind of a, what we had um no visibility there either so let's uh, do a big scratch on that i'm not batting a hundred for japan today as far as visibility is concerned so uh, let's go back over here i hope everybody got their stuff from the ice cream boat it is still docked you still have the opportunity to uh, go for it the second one should be arriving uh, shortly and uh, we'll make this one smaller and uh, go back over to iceland and uh, see what we've got cooking there no pun intended oh actually pun intended completely and uh, anyway um yeah so we did go through that report earlier as well and i thought it was a kind of interesting actually let's do something here i'm kind of liking uh that one scene i, I like this stuff here uh, nice uh, bubbling action uh, going on in the front and uh, that is telling us that we've got lots of gas in underneath there uh in that the uh, magma that's uh, getting to the surface and then becoming lava and uh, expelling the uh, gases a uh, very uh, cool stuff or in this case very hot stuff anyway uh, let's uh, get to our volcano report and uh, we'll start out with a late uh, saturday's uh, volcanic activity three volcanoes on our list so uh, yesterday's stuff uh, fairly short seven cayenne peru intermittent emissions at 224,000 feet 7300 meters reported at 2100 next was a fuego in guatemala ongoing volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 feet 4600 meters reported at 2115 and a semeru east java indonesia a vola state's eruption to 14,000 feet or 4300 meters reported at 2315 and that was for yesterday's stuff and let's take a look here and see what we've got for today's um and we'll go from there hmm i'm just reading something here uh oh separate emails one is okay uh was there two reports for right or just a one uh there a sue because i only got one uh, from you um maybe uh maybe it's included uh, maybe we can see it uh, both on the same page anyway uh sunday's a volcanic activity 10 volcanoes on the list and uh, let's have a look there and uh, welcome um uh, chuckster is here i seen a uh, cookster littlefield also in the house i uh, welcome you guys and um yeah let's i uh, get at the uh, uh volcanic activity 10 uh, volcanoes on the list a few way ago in guatemala uh, volcanic ash emissions continue to 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters, reported at 3.15 a.m. And sporadic emissions of a volcanic ash reported at 1,500. And the Rakens of Volcano Update, we see uh, that separate report. We've already gone through that. And then we see a, a Rang ra 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 report uh, is uh, there as well. So we got one of those. We'll have a look at that afterwards, uh, but um, it also had a volcanic ash to 7,000 feet, 2,100 meters, reported at 
uh, 45. Uh, okay. And I got to sneeze. Hang on. Okay, sure. I turn the mic off. I don't have to sneeze anymore. How's that work? I'm allergic to the microphone being on. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, we got uh, the uh, Rang, uh, uh, Ruang uh, report. And of course, a volcanic ash to 7,000 feet or 2,100 meters at, at 645. Next was uh, Luotelak, a uh, lesser Sunda, uh, Sunday, you uh, know, lesser Sunda Island, Indonesia. Uh, Vona uh, states eruption to 6,000 feet or 1,800 meters at 6.15 a.m. And again at 18.15. So a busy a volcano. Uh, Dekono, Helamahera Island, Indonesia. A volcanic ash to 6,000, uh, sorry, 9,000 feet and 2,700 meters. Reported at 7 a.m. And again at 1,900 and uh, thanks, Sue, I read that uh, one uh, report. I guess uh, it was just a uh, report number two. It was uh, one from Ruang. Uh, Ruang. Okay, got it. All good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dekono, Helamahera Island uh, in Indonesia. Uh, volcanic ash to 9,000 feet, 2,700 meters. I reported at 7 a.m. and at 1,900. And then uh, Sabankaya in Peru. Intermittent uh, strong emissions to 24,000 feet, 7,300 meters, and reported at 9 a.m. And then puff emissions to 24,000 feet, 7,300 meters, reported at 1,500. And next is Semeru, East Java, Indonesia, Vona uh, State's eruption to 14,000 feet, 4,300 meters, uh, reported at 11.15 a.m. And again, same height and everything at 17.30. And next is Nevado da Ruz in Colombia. Uh, volcanic ash emissions to 22,000 feet, 6,700 meters, reported at 1315. Uh, Marapi in uh, uh, western Sumatra, Indonesia. Uh, the CVGHM uh, states eruption to unknown height at uh, 1415 uh, today. And uh, last uh, volcano on the list is uh, Santiago in Guatemala. Uh, sporadic emissions of uh, volcanic ash reported at 1700. And uh, that's it for our uh, report. A big thank you to Sue for sending that in. And uh, of course, we have a, a very lively scene on the screen. And of course, that is our wonderful uh, Sunny. As I call it. <laughs> uh, uh, what is it? Yeah, something. But boy, I got to write that name down again. <laughs> anyway, I messed it up. I'm my bad. Uh, I, I practice too much, and uh, that's what we get. Let's uh, go have a look at uh, that other report and uh, see what we've got going on uh, there. And uh, that is uh, for uh, Ra um, Ruang, uh, my bad, again. Uh, so uh, let's uh, have a look at this. The aftermath of uh, the uh, strong eruptive period at Ruang as seen from space on the 20th of April. And Landsat 8-9 is what uh, took that. And yeah, you take a look. You can see part of that neighboring island. See how nice and green it is. And no green left on this one. Uh, it's all covered in uh, volcanic ash or burnt away. Uh, I mean, you have already mastered Ayafield Ayoko. I'm uh, going to try it uh, there, Andre. I will uh, continue to uh, do that. So, um you know, as a practice makes perfect. It's going to take some time. Um, I, uh, I, I know it's a, it's a difficult thing, though. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, we'll uh, keep on going. Uh, this is the uh, before and after image of the volcano. It uh, shows the uh, dramatic uh, change in uh, morphology. And, uh, yeah, you can certainly see 
uh, the green is uh, no longer existing in uh, the uh, outflows uh, there. So, um, yeah, it is. I feel la yoko. I have felt la yoko. Uh, very uh, easy to say. Uh, sun sun yeah sun gig gar riden sun nuks gigar rin. I still think sunny is a lot easier uh, for even your Icelandic people. Can you say sunny? <laughs> oh, that would be uh, too funny. Oh, never mind. And I don't know what these guys are. Tom and Frank looking at the camera rather than at the volcano that's erupting and going to kill them. Uh, anyway, it looks like a whole bunch of volcanoes there that are active. A pretty cool shot. Let's leave that be, though. Uh, yesterday, uh, the Landsat uh, satellite captured the uh, uh, first uh, almost a cloud-free image, uh, satellite image of, of the volcano, portraying the aftermath of the strong eruptive episode, the uh, original green and vegetated uh, area of the volcano has uh, transformed into a black edifice, uh, uh, blanketed by a heavy uh, load of uh, dark uh, uh, La Pele and a fine ash from a recent intense uh, proxismal uh, activity and uh, several uh, massive uh, pyroclast, uh, pyroclastic flows. And uh, although the ex uh, explosive eruption of the volcano continues, uh, it is at essentially a considerable uh, diminished levels, uh, considerably uh, diminished levels. All oh, good. Um, and three explosions have been detected uh, through the uh, surveillance camera over the past uh, two days. Ash-rich uh, columns uh, rose to an altitude of uh, 1,125 to 1,925 meters, and it drifted uh, to the south. So uh, that's uh, what we got. Uh, the uh, alert level of uh, for the volcano remains at a four, and. Uh, in order to uh, mitigate the risks, and people are, are advised to avoid uh, the area within approximately six uh, kilometers of uh, the main crater. Now, uh, my question is, you know, with it having done what it's done, those inhabitants of that uh, used to live here, um, aren't they going to be able to go back to something of, uh, you know, any kind of a, a sensible living? And uh, their lives have basically been um gone uh thrown out um yeah okay so we uh oh there's an extra j in there i see that uh soon yeah soon nya nyuka and sorry soon nuka gigar uh written is the right way to say it. Okay, I'm, I'm pr pretty sure I got close. Uh, the uh, the O is that U sound, like what we have in German. So, um, and I know the Rüden uh, is a little shorter on the end, and you guys don't pronounce the ends as uh, much or highlight them. U, yeah, the U sound. U. That's not a U sound, but a U sound. <laughs> <coughs> we have that in in uh, Russian has uh, um, very similar uh, characteristics as well. So anyway, uh, that is our uh, uh, Ruang report. report. Uh, the uh, D is uh, pronounced like a th. Uh, oh, in at the end, so. Uh, Rethan, okay, so Sun Nyuk Nyukyagi Gar of Rethan Rethan. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, cool, okay. Language lessons from a fox. Yeah, don't uh, get on me. <laughs> uh, I'm a bad teacher for that kind of stuff. I uh, don't know how to say yes properly, or is that uh, actually. You know, when I came to Canada, I didn't know how to say yes, no, 
and thank you. And that was it. Uh, top of the hour, it is. And uh, let's uh, get us back over to Iceland and uh, take a look and see what we've got cooking. Uh, some lavely scenes, and uh, we are enjoying those. So we'll uh, continue on with having a look at uh, that while I go take a break. Uh, no one said it uh, sounded uh, pretty. Uh, he, he, uh, those uh, dramatic words uh, sometimes uh, sound uh, like they are mad or uh, bitter. We all sound like that. Assumed no. Uh, uh, I missed that. <laughs> I tried to say it before it disappeared. All right, I'm going to go for a break. Assumed uh, no. Okay, Sunnuks Gigar. Uh, what does IF Delta Yokel mean? Uh, something about uh, mountain, uh, glacier. Um, I, I don't know what the uh, actual translation is, but I'm going to go for a break. Here's some music. I'll be back. Hit the like button if you haven't done that yet, people. Also, if you're enjoying the show, um, please, uh, yeah, uh, Island of Mountain Glacier. That's what it is. Island of Mountain Glacier. Pretty cool. Or if you're in the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, it's E-15. That's uh, E and 15 other letters behind it. <laughs> All right. I'll be back after the break. Keep smiling.
the microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching a Volcano X live stream. And uh, thank you for uh, being here. And uh, thanks uh, for the welcome backs from uh, Sue and uh, John and Mars and Susie and uh, CND Boy and uh, Barbara and Essays. No, uh, we don't do essays. Uh, thank you, Arian6. And uh, thanks, uh, Andre, as well. I appreciate that. And uh, yep, uh, some of those long words are pretty awesome. <laughs> and uh, uh, thanks, uh, Sasha and uh, Cooksters and uh, King Colin. I think we got everyone now, uh, pretty much. Um, anyway, Aftur, welcome, Aftur. Welcome, Aftur. Hmm, okay, and that's a welcome back, I'm ass assuming. Um, and, oh, oh, there she is. I uh, see a Sharon Stewart going, I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000, singing, I love Yoko. Uh, marbles in the mouth, uh, trough mumbles, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> all uh, cool, uh, yeah is a uh, yeah, and uh, that is uh, in uh, German, I uh, mean, uh, yes, so uh, definitely Icelandic or a germ Germanic uh, base uh, there. Um, let's uh, go, uh, what are we doing? Um, we uh, did everything else. I think we need to uh, move on and uh, take a look at uh, earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, earthquakes. And let's see what's a shaken. Uh, a is a pronounced like ow. Yow. Yow. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so, yaw. Yaw. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, uh, there, Andre. <laughs> uh, shaker time. Let's uh, go over to the uh, shaker map and uh, see what we got shaken. Uh, first thing that um, we uh, notice is that that big splotch there in a place called Iceland. Iceland. And uh, there, what are they calling it? They're calling it a 5.3, 118 kilometers west, northwest of Hofen, Iceland. And uh, that's uh, uh, 37 minutes after a midnight uh, our time UTC and uh, 10 kilometers down for him. So uh, pretty uh, cool. And uh, 9.6 out of 10. Oh, wow. I'm uh, doing well. Uh, thanks for that 9.6. Uh, anyway, uh, that is uh, what they're showing there. They had no depth on it. That's okay. We know it's a uh, surface or very close to the surface. We have uh, the uh, real McCoy already, and uh, we knew about it before it ever ended up on this map. Um, anyway, let's uh, take a look at the uh, rest of the stuff around the planet. Kamchatka Peninsula will start out there. Looks like we've got some uh, activity here on the peninsula. 4.3. Uh, 53 minutes after midnight and 99.4 kilometers and sorry a 0.8 kilometers and down my bad and i'm looking at uh, what we else we got going on here a little bit of a swarm right here and i'm kind of wondering what the heck that is all about um a near attic uh some interesting uh, swarming all a little stuff uh, so uh, maybe and we got something uh, popping open there and we'll see what happens in the future keep an eye on uh, that and next one over we see a little bit uh, bigger here that's a uh, near uh, Atka uh, 2.8 uh, from uh, 4 16 a.m. 7 kilometers down for him and then uh, we um, see this one in the kind of odd to see it uh, there in uh, the uh, Bering Sea but it is uh, 4.2 and they're saying it's on 129 kilometers north northwest of the false pass alaska so uh, that is all cool and uh, see uh, this one way up here and that's a katovic alaska area 2.3 a new one six kilometers down from a 1541 
A sliding down on the western side of North America looks not bad uh, until we get down here to uh, Mexico. I want to take a look over on the eastern side, though. This one is an odd place. It's in Maine, and that's nowhere near where we were seeing our little swarm stuff over here, and that it's in New Jersey. So Maine is now getting some quakes, too. <laughs> Weird. A 1.7, and that's from uh, yesterday at 2035, 7.9 kilometers down. Hmm, a little odd there, right? Uh, things that make you go hmm anyway uh, this one and we'll uh, take a look and see where it is it is on uh, the uh, cocos plate and that's a 5.4 and uh, that happened at uh, 1305 uh, 10 kilometers down he had some uh, friends here uh, from uh, 4.6 at uh, 1041 uh, 10 kilometers down and a 4.5 from a uh, 1033 uh, also 10 kilometers down so that's what's uh, there and next one, a little further south, is at uh, Guatemala. Um, no, uh, still a part of uh, Mexico. And that is a 4.9 from a 10.51, uh, 67.5 kilometers down. Next one is uh, this one here, 4.2 from uh, 1801 yesterday, 89.4 kilometers down. And a 4.3 from 1949 yesterday. 113.1 kilometers down. I'm not seeing too much over here in the, uh, uh, um, what the heck is it, uh, um, Puerto Rican area, um, not that much. Um, Dominican Republic over here, Virgin Islands. So a um, few uh, normal ones, they're not even going to get into them. Uh, let's leave them be. Sliding uh, further south, and uh, we uh, don't see anything in uh, Peru or Chile or Argentina, nothing down here in the South Sandwich Islands. Uh, zooming out a little bit, taking a look at the Antarctic um, Rise or Ridge. Don't see anything on there. And uh, looking at New Zealand, nothing over four showing up on the USGS map. Uh, Kermadec Ridge area, Kermadec Islands, uh, 5.1 from a 5.59 a.m. at 57.9 kilometers down. And this one in Fiji, 4.5 from 11.52, 513 kilometers down for him. And nothing else there, nothing in the southern parts of Vanuatu. This one is almost in the Solomon Islands. Uh, it's still considered a Vanuatu. No, 4.6 there from 8.37 a.m. our time, 42.5 kilometers down for him. And uh, sliding on, looking into uh, Indonesia, we uh, don't see anything on the southern end, all the way up into uh, Myanmar up here, nothing along uh, that uh, separate uh, fault. And we uh, do have this one out in the middle of uh, nowhere. This is considered uh, Philippines, uh, 4.5 from uh, 3.31 uh, a.m. this morning, uh, 550.6 kilometers down. And uh, zoom out again here, uh, take a look. We don't see anything out here in the uh, Marianas or uh, Guam, uh, those areas, nothing else in the Philippines. But we get uh, back to Taiwan and they're back to shaking again. Uh, 5.1 from a 2040 yesterday, 10 kilometers down. A uh, 4.3 from a 1253, uh, 24.8 kilometers down. A uh, 4.5 from yesterday, a 2107, at 10 kilometers down and a 4.7 from uh, 1035 and that is 32.3 uh, kilometers down and i think uh, those guys have had enough shaking they don't want any more of that uh zooming in over here uh taking a look at uh, this one uh koshima japan area there anyway a 4.3 from 1827 yesterday a 35.1 kilometers down and looking at the rest of Japan, we don't see too much till we get up here into the Corral Islands. We got 4.4 from yesterday at 21.39 at 74 kilometers down. Uh, real quick a check, I don't see anything in Africa at all. And uh, we do have a few up here. Uh, Tajikistan or uh, what is uh, Kai 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 Geist? I guess, uh, Kyrgyz, uh, I'll, I'll try it again. 
Turdowski, uh, never mind. Uh, it's in, in one of those Stan places. <laughs> Kyrgyzstan. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. How about that? And that'll uh, sound good enough. Um, 1.20 a.m. Uh, is at the time on that one. 56.6 kilometers down. And uh, the other one is in Tajikistan. It's a 4.1 from a 21.47 yesterday. 61.4 kilometers down. Uh, some of these places, I think, got some awesome names. You know, uh, like Nayamura Gira, Nira Gongo, and uh, things like that. And uh, Anatolian Plate, and uh, the Aegean Plate, all quiet. <laughs> and uh, then uh, we get over here, and uh, we don't see any quakes in uh, the Italian uh, theater either. Stan. Stan's a pretty cool name. Uh, and nothing uh, sitting here in the Azores either. So uh, that's kind of what we got. We already covered our friend here in Iceland, and uh, that is all good. Let's have a look and uh, see what we can uh, spot here in Hawaii. On the, the big island of Hawaii, and the uh, little islands over here uh, don't have anything. And uh, that's uh, probably a good thing. Uh, looking at this one on the uh, northwestern uh, slopes of uh, Mauna Kea. We have a 2.3 from 1948 yesterday, 21.5 kilometers below sea level. And now looking at a Kilauea, nothing. <laughs> okay, and that was good. A Kilauea area has nothing new. And now we'll take a look and see what the Pahala area, or at least that region has. And this one is a 2.2, and I should include that with Kilauea. And uh, that is uh, 700 meters uh, above uh, sea level uh, from 8 to 12 uh, today, 2.2 in magnitude. So a uh, pretty uh, cool, and um, that's almost at the surface. And uh, this one is a 1.8 from uh, 43 minutes after midnight. Next, we have a 1.9 from a 2003 yesterday, and uh, then a new one here, 2.0 from a 1610. Uh, this one is uh, 2.1 from 3.03 this morning. And the other last one on land is a 2.1 from 3.51 uh, this morning. And uh, those are all uh, between uh, 27 and uh, 35 kilometers down. So that's what we got there. Now let's take a look out in the water. That 2.1, 3.03, 29 clicks down. Yep. Uh, this one here, 1 1.8 from 11.55 uh, today, and 29.9 uh, clicks down. 2.2 uh, from 15.04 uh, at 26.8 kilometers down, and 2.0 from 2.13 uh, a.m. at uh, 42.4 kilometers down. That's a little uh, deeper than uh, most of the uh, quakes we've seen. So, uh, interesting, uh, there is uh, Hawaii uh, for quakes. And that is all awesome. And we don't see anything really unusual or huge or unruly to make people having a bad day today. So uh, hopefully and we'll continue to see um, calm shakers out there. And uh, let's get back to this um, because I'm doing the weather right now or sorry, the SO2. We uh, won't have enough uh, time to go and uh, do that real quick. So we'll uh, save that for after uh, the break. And uh, we'll have a look at uh, windy.com at that point in time. And uh, we'll uh, carry on with that. I'll have it all ready to go as I uh, select my more layers options and uh, find my SO2 real quick and uh, get that, that uh, ready. Actually, it doesn't look too bad for most of the SO2. Maybe we can have a sneak peek anyway. Let's do that. Sneak peek at the SO2. So, um, yeah, there's our Camp Chetka Peninsula not producing as much. We've got some uh, sitting uh, up here in the Arctic Ocean, uh, north of Russia. And, of course, uh, that'll be north of Canada as well. And it uh, doesn't look uh, too bad in the uh, northern hemisphere. Uh, for the most part, and I'm uh, still wondering if we got something uh, pluming from uh, here in Russia, or uh, do we have something happening here in um, 
towards that leftover stuff and there in uh, uh, Norway on, on the coastal lines. Uh, Southern Hemisphere, of course, everybody is interested in this. And this, of course, is uh, um, what's been coming out of Ruang. And uh, yeah, it's uh, all the way into the Indian Ocean. It's uh, now um, basically uh, filling up over here in Sri Lanka, as well as the uh, tip of India. And as I got everybody in between as well. Uh, luckily, uh, most of the Philippines aren't at that bad levels, but uh, Taiwan looks like it's going up. And we're seeing uh, some stuff all the, in the uh, Japanese islands as well. Anyway, we'll uh, go over that really quickly when I get back from the break. In the meantime, um, what we'll do is uh, just uh, continue watching this because it is a lavely uh, scene. And, of course, we are seeing our wonderful event. And uh, I will emph emphasize the new Icelandic name again, Sunny. <laughs> uh, it's official now. I'm uh, calling it Sunny. And uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go on a break now. Ooh, that was a nice uh, toss there of uh, some uh, bacon bits. Um, pretty awesome. All right, keep smiling, everyone. Uh, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. If you haven't yet bought that like button, please give it uh, a quick shot. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, uh, consider subscribing if you feel we've earned it. And on that friendly note, um, I'll be back after a few songs. And uh, we'll uh, do uh, the rest of the SO2 and some weather. And uh, we'll uh, keep people happy. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be back.
show that microphone is back on welcome or welcome back everyone I'm your host dr. Fox 2000 you're watching volcano X live stream of course we are looking at uh, Iceland and the Arrakis Peninsula beautiful views and uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs there from uh, John and Sue and Susie and uh, let's see, uh, Barbara, you made a comment. You said it uh, uh, seems to uh, show a uh, uh, night uh, more activity. Actually, it's not true. It uh, shows about the same activity. It's just at nighttime, we get to see it a whole bunch better. Uh, daytime, uh, the uh, sunlight is uh, difficult to uh, deal with. Ooh, what's this uh, splashing out front here? What is going on? Some lava worker is uh, turned on a valve. We're seeing some uh, forward uh, splashing up in the front. Uh, I have no idea what's going on there. Gas bubbles. Uh, thanks uh, there, uh, Arian6, for the uh, welcome back as well. And um, I'm glad I'm on this view already. So uh, pretty awesome to see uh, that. Little uh, spritzers. I have no idea what the heck is going on there. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm, and that's uh, from the original vents. No, that's uh, further out uh, in the uh, lava uh, field. Uh, wow, now we see some uh, good shots in the uh, of the event itself. Um, I don't know if that's from the original vents there, John. I think that, that is uh, because that's in that really high piled up lava lake. Uh, that is, I think, uh, where it is, so uh, pretty cool. Anyway, let's leave that be. Let's get over to our SO2 map. I did I mention that we were going to do that. So uh, real quick, um, we already had a general look, but let's uh, start it out here in the Kamchatka Peninsula. Uh, so we've got uh, Shivlesh and uh, Klyushevskoy and Bezimiani and uh, Karimsky and Mutnovsky on the peninsula creating that plume. Not so much from them today. And then uh, down here on Paramashir Island, we've got Ibiko and Chikarachki. And uh, that is uh, kind of the uh, sum total here of uh, what they're producing. And uh, it doesn't look uh, too bad in the Bering Sea today. And uh, we uh, do have that other stuff over uh, the eastern portions of uh, Russia. Not sure what to make of it, and, but uh, it is up there. And uh, very hard to tell if there's anything uh, coming from Shisheldon, although that whole area seems to have a fairly heavy SO2 presence, so I would uh, think uh, that it may have some of that. Uh, the other stuff is uh, kind of a blown in from other places, and uh, looking at Alaska, it's uh, pretty much uh, normal as well. Uh, they're getting some of that residual stuff from up in the north. And the uh, same thing uh, goes for uh, the Yukon and Northwest Territories. Uh, hang on, my phone's away. And... I gotta see who that is. Uh Oh boy, uh, some a guy telling me that uh, I've uh, taken over somebody else's phone. <laughs> He's uh, got the wrong number, and uh, that is uh, the way it is. Um, anyway, uh, let's uh, carry on here, and uh, let's uh, continue with uh, where we were at. Uh, if I am on, uh, sneaky doc, yep, <clears throat> got his goat. I, I don't like getting goats. Uh, Irish monk, uh, joking, and uh, no, it's not Irish monk. I, I don't think he's got my phone number yet, <laughs> yeah. which is probably a good thing. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm not uh, bad. Uh, okay. Uh, whoop! I uh, messed that up. Why am I messing up? I want to get on the other side here. So 
yeah, Yukon, not bad. And none of it is, I got a fair amount that's going all the way into Ontario and Quebec. So, uh, looks not bad. And the BC, Alberta, well, other than Edmonton, the bad producer of SO2, and a few of the other places there, uh, it's not that bad. Same with Saskatchewan, slightly higher levels there in Manitoba. And Ontario, of course, you can see that a plume uh, coming uh, down from uh, up in uh, the uh, northern areas here, uh, all the way across Hudson's Bay, and that's affecting uh, northern uh, Quebec as well. So all the good, uh, but uh, Labrador, Newfoundland, and Nova Scotia, PEI, and New Brunswick look pretty clean. The same thing goes for uh, Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont, uh, slightly uh, larger or uh, heavier uh, uh, areas there in, in New York, um, which isn't uh, so bad, uh, and uh, looks like uh, Toronto's uh, throwing out some stuff onto uh, the Great Lakes region. Uh, not that bad, though. And again, we're uh, back to our uh, pretty much uh, normal levels here, and uh, the um, uh, what I call the industrial basket of uh, the uh, eastern part of the United States. So. Um, pretty normal for uh, those guys, and it looks like um, um, Rayleigh is uh, just on the edge of uh, that plume, and um, it's not that bad, though. Uh, it could be a, a lot worse. It could be a lot better, too, with a numb, but uh, not uh, bad. Um, Florida looks uh, clear as well, and uh, the western portions of the U.S. are doing uh, very well, with the exception of... Uh, the L.A. area and the San Francisco area, where that heavy and dense a population is. I'm moving further south, and we do take a look at Mexico. We see it is continuing there, and that's from Popocatépetl, Mexico City, and not quite as much as what we had before. And the central areas of Americas here, a fair amount going kind of actually, it looks like it's stalling and kind of messing up in some places from Nicaragua and up. It's going into the Pacific and heading north and the other stuff further south here is heading back in towards the land and going over to the eastern side. Nevada del Ruz looks like it's got a very heavy output there for some reason. And uh, nobody mentioned that. And, of course, we're seeing this. And I'm wondering if that's from uh, Fernandina, because that uh, certainly looks uh, close. And there's uh, where Fernandina is located. And uh, that is interesting to see uh, that. And uh, going over here to uh, Sementaya, and that is moving out and uh, northward as well, as well as a lot of the SO2 from uh, Chile uh, getting into Argentina and then uh, the uh, bottom of uh, the uh, um, areas here in uh, Brazil. So a little bit of SO2 for uh, those guys. Not so much coming from a microvolcano. As you can see, a very a light a plume. So very, very little. And uh, looking at what we've got here, likely some undersea mounds. And uh, this is what I'm suspecting is causing this, that we've got a, a sea mound of that a pop. A white island volcano would be right around here, adding to this a mess, but likely a sea mound of some sort are doing its thing. Um, Australia pretty normal, with the exception of the uh, north and uh, northwest. Uh, they're uh, getting some of that uh, SO2 in from uh, the uh, uh, Ruang eruption. And um, Tonga still uh, pretty uh, normal there, same as uh, Vanuatu. As, as well as uh, Papua New Guinea. And uh, then we get into this mess. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, where it gets to be uh, pretty much impossible to tell what's really coming from where. We know um, Luotalak uh, and Luotabai Laki Laki uh, normally uh, work heavy uh, down in this area and might be uh, from them for this little plume. And uh, we know the rest is uh, from uh, further up north there. And this would be from a Semeru, and uh, this uh, likely uh, coming out from uh, um, Merapi and uh, friends there, uh, industrial stuff, uh, seen uh, with uh, this area. And then, of course, I'm uh, looking at Jakarta and uh, Krakatau, which is uh, right there. 
uh, producing a lot of SO2 between the two of them. And the rest, we I can't tell uh, because it's just way too much SO2 uh, to be able to see what's maybe coming from Mar Rappi or um, uh, Cinnabung or any of those ones there. And that is encompassing many of the areas. Not quite as far north as a Bangkok with the heavy stuff, but still in there. And uh, let's see. Um, well, we know Ibu and Dakono on Helamahera Island are there, but um, what is from them and what isn't, right? And the rest uh, seems to be from our uh, new event uh, there, and that's uh, Ruang. Uh, doing its thing and of course uh, that is uh, sliding up here into uh, the north as well and uh, making its way uh, towards uh, Japan so it's going to be uh, difficult to tell but a little bit extra looks like uh, right here from uh, Suwanoshi Jima and uh, of course uh, Sakura Jima has uh, some heavy output as well and then uh, going further up ASO you can see ASO is producing a fair amount of SO2 uh, there and uh, moving uh, further north to uh, Tokyo, Tokyo looks uh, very clean today. And Asama, uh, the volcano we could uh, barely see. Well, yep, it's uh, got higher levels of SO2. So uh, that is uh, pretty uh, cool. And that uh, brings us back up to the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula. Not uh, bad there. And um, then uh, China, pretty uh, normal. Uh, India, um, looking at this mess down here, um, this uh, looks light <laughs> compared to what we're seeing uh, down there. Uh, India still uh, with a moderate, uh, moderate levels, uh, same with uh, Pakistan. And uh, going uh, down here uh, to uh, South Africa, the gold smelting uh, continues there. And uh, Nyamuragira near Congo here in the uh, Democratic Republic of uh, the Congo doing their stuff. Uh, Urta Ale and the Adenikil uh, Depression has its own little uh, SO2 uh, plume. And then, of course, we see uh, the other plumes here are from uh, Kuwait, Iraq, Iran, and uh, Saudi Arabia, and a few of the other places here in uh, Lebanon and, uh, of course, in Egypt. Uh, those are all oil refineries. And then up here in uh, Turkey, we have uh, some more and that is okay, but uh, hopefully that'll uh, calm down. Uh, Piggy has a really clean air on the island of Akos today, uh, 1.09, and that is awesome. And uh, that is a very clean air compared to what they normally get. And Mount Etna continuing to uh, produce a fair uh, level of SO2, and so is Stromboli uh, right in here. Um, yep, a piggy uh, definitely does need good clean air uh, to get healthy again. And uh, looks like uh, not that bad in uh, Portugal, Spain, uh, looking uh, pretty clear. And uh, the rest of the areas here looks like a northern uh, part of uh, France has got a little higher levels. And uh, Germany, not very good levels at all. Same with Holland and Denmark and uh, Sweden and Norway, Finland. Uh, they're all kind of uh, getting uh, some of that residual stuff that's been floating around. Uh, England, of course, uh, has uh, got a fair amount as well. Wales, Ireland, and uh, up here in uh, Scotland, uh, they are not doing uh, too bad. Iceland, unfortunately, has uh, got some SO2 plume and that uh, kind of uh, snuck back and was blowing upon them and with uh, the wind currents. So that's uh, what we got there. And that's it for our SO2 map. Let's uh, take a look at our weather map. And we're going to do uh, this one really, really quickly. <coughs> so uh, let's uh, take a look here first. Um, yep, it looks like uh, business as usual. And I, I, I'm looking for big storms happening. And I don't see anything. It looks like we got a, a big circulation off of uh, just uh, south of uh, Tokyo there. And a little uh, faster moving air. And a bunch of lows out here in the uh, uh, Bering Sea and uh, the uh, uh, Gulf of Alaska high sitting off of uh, the coast of um, North America here for uh, uh, Oregon and uh, those areas um, would be uh, pumping in warm air into British Columbia as well. And then we see uh, we've got a fair amount of warm air 
18, 20 degrees up here in Northwest Territories. I wish it were warm up like that here. It's only 11 here in Edmonton. And um, the rest, well, we got that cold air from uh, the, um, I guess, uh, from the mountains. Uh, Saskatchewan, warmer than we are. Uh, Winnipeg, and down on the bottom here, even warmer than us. Uh, northern parts of Manitoba, though, are not so good. And, of course, you get up into none of it, and you want none of it. And uh, then uh, looking at uh, the uh, stuff around the Hudson's Bay uh, on uh, both sides, Ontario and uh, Quebec, it's a uh, cold. And the rest of Ontario, not so bad. Southern Toronto, uh, Detroit area down on the bottom, about 12. Chicago coming in at 12 as well, which is uh, really nice. Uh, Labrador, uh, not bad. Uh, minus temperatures up on the top end. And it looks like a uh, pretty uh, good uh, there for uh, Newfoundland. Uh, Coal Harbor, I don't know what um, uh, Sue has uh, got there today. Uh, there she is, about 6 degrees for uh, Sue. And that is uh, not bad, almost uh, back to uh, tropical values. And uh, she'll enjoy that soon. And uh, let's see, uh, looks like uh, the rest here in uh, North America, not uh, bad. We see uh, Miami coming in at about uh, 27, 28. Orlando sitting at 29. Jacksonville, 26. And then when we get over Oklahoma City, uh, 17, San Antonio, 20, Houston, uh, 19. And we'll a quick look at uh, Phoenix, 36 degrees. Awesome. Uh, 20 in Los Angeles, Sacramento, uh, 29. Uh, San Francisco sitting at about 17 on the other side, up to uh, 25 degrees. Uh, Bakersfield uh, baking at uh, 31. A quick look here in Death Valley. We are seeing uh, the uh, 40 degree uh, temperature marks in here. Uh, 41 uh, so far, uh, so uh, that is a uh, pretty uh, toasty, and uh, Las Vegas, or Lost Wages, whichever uh, you prefer, 34 degrees uh, in uh, there right now, and uh, Mexicali coming in at 36, and I'm uh, sliding uh, down here into the uh, warmer Mexican uh, temperatures, uh, seeing some awesome uh, heat, uh, Mexico City itself, uh, only uh, 23 to about 25 degrees, but we are seeing some very hot uh, temperatures here. Uh, 44 already, and there is uh, the high. And uh, wow, uh, there's a 46. Uh, 46 degrees so far is uh, for our high, and that is uh, Mexico uh, pulling in at that 46. Wow. And uh, looking for warmer things here. And it looks like uh, they're a tipping of the 40s, uh, very close. Uh, same thing goes for the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, high 30 degree uh, temperatures. And uh, that is also in uh, places like, I believe, 28 and there. And uh, Guatemala, northern end, uh, very uh, warm. Uh, sliding through uh, Central America, looks like uh, they all have uh, reasonably good temperatures. Not quite as hot there in uh, uh, Colombia today. And the um, jungle out in the back here, 28, 29 degrees. And um, we see up to a 30 here, um, a Blanco at 29. And then, of course, uh, looking at a 20, a 29, 30s uh, there in Venezuela. And Boa Vista sitting at about 28 and up to a 31 in the northern parts. Uh, sliding uh, down a little bit more. Rio de Janeiro coming in at 22. Sao Paulo 19. And we do see uh, Paraguay's got some good heat. Up to uh, 30 degrees up in the uh, northern parts of uh, our uh, Argentina area there. But uh, not quite so uh, nice and further south. Uh, 18 in uh, Buenos Aires and Paysandu coming in at about 23. And uh, there's your cutoff point. You can see where it gets a cold. Single digits down on the bottom. A uh, real quick a look at uh, New Zealand uh, doing its thing and not a very warm. Uh, 13 in uh, Christchurch. Uh, let's see, uh, Wellington uh, 15, Hastings uh, 15, uh, Hamilton is about 18, uh, Taupo coming in at about 14, and uh, then of course Auckland is uh, sitting at about 18. And the peninsula about the same. Going over to uh, Tasmania still has not warmed up. Uh, 13 degrees. And we're seeing about uh, 13, 14 all the way around. Some uh, 15s along the coastline. 
Melbourne still freezing at 9 degrees, burr. And Adelaide sitting at 14. And we got an 18, 19 and there in Sydney. And home of Oz, about 20 degrees there. That is not so bad. And getting over here to Perth, seeing it at 16. That's not a lot of heat. And then, of course, we see a pretty normal temperatures. I'm still wondering if we're going to see a storm develop here. And this one right by New Caledonia looks like a three lows altogether. And that's going to bug Vanuatu and New Caledonia and the Royalty Islands down here. And Fiji may be affected by it as well. A normal stuff there, though, for Fiji, uh, Papua New Guinea, and all of um, Indonesia, really. Um, and Bangkok sitting at uh, 28, 29, and uh, 30 in uh, Manila. And uh, then a quick uh, peak here in Kangashima sitting at 18 degrees. A beautiful uh, temperature for them right now. Uh, 15 in uh, Tokyo. And uh, Sapporo up in the north here at 7 degrees. And good for making uh, more beer. And uh, Delhi uh, coming in at uh, 23. And uh, let's uh, take a look in Africa, see if we can uh, find some uh, really hot temperatures. Uh, so far, a uh, 34 seems to be uh, the high. And uh, there's a 35 in here. I, I didn't see any 36s yet. Oh, and there's a 36. And uh, we uh, still have not seen anything hitting that magic of 40 plus mark. So, uh, looks like uh, Mexico has it for the high attempt. Again, uh, for today, and uh, let's see over here in uh, Saudi Arabia up to uh, 32 degrees, and uh, Dubai coming in at 24, Riyadh at uh, 25, and uh, Baghdad 24. And the uh, piggies, a uh, place, let's see, and what she got for temperature 18 degrees Celsius uh, there for piggy, and uh, that's uh, not bad. Uh, Madrid 11, uh, Lisbon uh, coming in at 16. Uh, Paris are coming in at uh, 6, and Nantes is, uh, Tanto's home there is at uh, 6. I haven't seen Tanto. Uh, what happened to Tanto? Uh, did we offend Tanto somehow, somewhere? It's like she disappeared on her birthday. Uh, Munich is at 3, and the Cologne at 4. Ivan Kunkel's house about 4. Berlin is sitting at 0, and uh, Luxembourg is sitting at about 4. Copenhagen are coming in at the 4 as well. Arhurst uh, sitting at a uh, two, Amsterdam is a uh, four, and uh, looking at uh, Brussels a uh, four there, uh, London is uh, sitting at a uh, five, uh, Leeds are uh, getting up to a uh, six, and it looks warmer up north here nine in Glasgow, seven in Aberdeen, and uh, then we've got a uh, nine in Dublin, and Irish monks home about a uh, uh, ten degrees, and um, <coughs> pardon me, and let's see, and what we got uh, for uh, temperatures here. Um, and Dr. Cool and uh, then gang, aha, uh -huh. uh, 12 points, um, that's okay, uh, 4 degrees in uh, Reykjavik, and uh, then uh, we've got uh, 3 degrees in uh, Grindavik, and Reykjavik Bar sitting at uh, 4, Kevlevik uh, 4, Jarnvik uh, 4, so uh, pretty uh, good there, let's uh, go find uh, the coldest temperatures on the, the planet, we'll go down here to Antarctica. Antarctica, and uh, let's see, uh, minus uh, 73 already uh, there, minus 74, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's a uh, cold in Antarctica, uh, minus uh, 74 so far, let's see if we can uh, find uh, something uh, colder, there's a minus 76, and uh, let's see if we can find some uh, cold spots, uh, that's a uh, pretty uh, warm, uh, they, uh, well, I, well, what did I say here? 83, 85, and uh, no, uh, 86, and burr. Okay, and the atoms are starting to stop uh, moving here. And uh, looks, uh, <laughs> I, uh, 87, and um, let's see, 87 below a zero Celsius, 82s, 83s, oh my god. And uh, that will uh, uh, freeze you to a death in a very quick hurry. Um, yeah, minus 84. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit. Uh, this is uh, crazy here. Uh, minus 60s there, so okay. Minus 70s. 
minus uh, uh I'm, I, I'm seeing these numbers here i'm just uh like wow really i might well minus 91 i see in here minus 92 degrees uh no uh, that is um, absolutely silly uh, minus 92 already and uh, there's a minus 94 am i seeing that right a minus 95 are you nuts a uh, minus 95 degrees celsius uh, no um okay and the atoms are going to stop moving uh, minus 94 minus 95 um no 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 i, I don't like those temperatures minus 94 95 let's uh, there we're getting a um, 93 uh, minus 94 yeah, I would never think that that temperature would get that cold. Minus 95 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I got to be kidding me. Um, let me see. I'm looking for minus 96. I think my uh, hamster has frozen now. He's already complaining of frostbite. Uh, but he's shaking too much to be able to tell me what the actual problem is. Um, let's see, minus 95, let's just imagine being in that, did I just see minus 96 in here, it is a bobbing around, minus 95, you're kidding, oh, there was a 96 in here, where'd you go, it's right in here somewhere, seen it again it was right in here I, I went over it I could see it um, minus a 95 and there was a 96 in here oh boy I, I want to get it on the screen though uh, that's the thing that's the whole trick behind uh, being honest about it is I uh, get it uh, locked in and uh, actually show it there where is it um, minus a 95 it uh, flashed a couple times here and it always uh, drives me crazy when it does that minus 95 uh, where's minus 96 it was in here it's uh, moving around on me um so uh, there's a bunch of spots there minus 95 or minus 96 in uh, that same area and just uh, nothing that wants to uh, lock on again uh, right in here and the bounces 94 95 96 um uh, that is incredibly uh, cold um I, I try real hard to get it on the screen about it's not letting me. I, I did see it, and uh, it's not staying on the screen very long. And I know I have to slow down to find it, but uh, that I could uh, take all a day long. So, um, yep. Um, so I will uh, leave it as uh, that there. Minus 96. It's ridiculously cold uh, there. Put it that way. Um, <laughs> that kind of a temperature is uh, silly uh let's uh, go to greenland and uh, see if uh, we have anything uh, there and uh, we'll uh, spot uh, some uh, warmer weather okay and uh, the um almost a uh, subtropical uh, greenland minus uh, 35 right in uh, that region and um, there's a minus oh, a minus 36 right there on the screen and uh, that is okay and minus 36 and do we have a minus uh, there's another minus 36 I, I don't see any other ones i'm going to call it as a minus a 36 let's uh, take a look in uh, canada a eh? and uh, let's uh, go have a look uh, there minus a 31s and right in here and i uh, don't see anything uh, colder and uh, let's uh, zoom in and just uh, double check 
in case there's a minus a 32 hiding in here somewhere. I don't think there is a minus a 31s. And a little a plume of a minus a 30 there. A minus a 30. And I don't see anything a colder. What about up in our secret spot here? Where sometimes uh, things happen. Minus a 2728. Nope. And... Uh, what about a right of the air? Minus a 30. Ah, they have a balmy day compared to Antarctica. <laughs> uh, there's a minus a 31 again. And not seeing any minus a 32s. So uh, let's leave that one there. And we'll go and take a look at uh, Alaska and see what we can find there. Well, let's check the mountains first. A minus 16 and right here. And um, let's see, and do we have a minus 17 here somewhere? Minus a 16 for sure on the screen, and um, we don't see anything there. Minus a 15, and they've got some uh, nice temperatures of 12 degrees. That's uh, pretty good. And uh, let's see, a minus 13, minus a 14, and uh, that's uh, not going to beat uh, that minus 16. What about up here in the uh, Great White North part? minus 16 along the edges here and i think that might be about it a minus 16 for oh hang on a minus 17 right there one little spot minus 17 uh, minus 16 a minus 17 there in uh, alaska and that is right there so uh, one little tiny spot of a minus 17 now let's go take a look at uh, Russia and see uh, what we can find. Uh, minus uh, 20s, 21s over here. Uh, let's see, uh, I may have to go back to that region or up here into the islands. Uh, minus uh, 23 so far. Uh, minus uh, 24. 23s, uh, 24s. I, I don't think there's anything uh, colder there. Um, okay, let's uh, zoom back out and, and take a look. Uh, minus a 24 so far. There's a minus a 27. A minus a 28 right there. A minus a 27s again. And uh, then we're going over here. Minus a 28. A minus a 28. A minus a 28. And I don't see any other areas of that are any better. A minus a 28 there. So. Um, that's it. Minus uh, 28 for um, Russia. And uh, that is enough. And uh, all good. So uh, that is uh, cold enough. Oh, boy, a minus 96 degrees out there. And there's, it's, that's it's just absolutely uh, outrageous uh, down here. Minus 90. I'm, I'm looking for it. I have to zoom in. There's a minus 95 for sure. But um, yeah, it's a town here. And if you're going, uh, if you're planning a tropical vacation, uh, don't go to this island. It's a huge uh, place, but it's uh, all white and uh, washed up. And dark winds by two degrees. Oh no. Uh, that is uh, what it is. But uh, it happens. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Let's uh, put our lavely screen uh, back up here and warm back up after that extreme uh, frostbite uh, down there. And uh, a big uh, thank you to everyone uh, for being on board today. Uh, you guys are all awesome. Of course, uh, this is our Sunday stream. Uh, uh, tomorrow uh, will be uh, Monday and we will be back to uh, weekday hours. So, uh, somebody want to type in a Volcano X, and then you can uh, see the hours there. I'm going to wrap uh, things up. So, a big uh, thank you to our moderators, Arizona Snowman, and Piggy, and Sue, and CND Boy, and Yvonne Kunkel, and uh, Gura, and uh, Gary, and 24-7 Live, he's at Skies. Uh, thank you, uh, moderators. Uh, thanks, uh, Sue, for uh, typing that in. Awesome. Uh, so uh, thank you, uh, mods, and uh, you guys are awesome all the time. I really appreciate it. And uh, also a big uh, thank you to our uh, 
Well, we have a super chat from uh, Arian6 and threw in a small super chat. Thank you. That's the only one we had there, so all good. Um, big uh, thank you for your support, Arian, and uh, appreciate it. And a big uh, thank you to all of you, and whether you're uh, an, a member or a non member, it uh, doesn't matter. You're still part of our wonderful lab of family here, and that's uh, what counts. So uh, remember where we are, and uh, remember uh, tomorrow's uh, show is on, and uh, all of those other good things. And uh, have yourselves a wonderful uh, evening, uh, night, uh, morning, or a day, depending on where on the planet you are. I know we have people from everywhere here, so um, it's a global and uh, always nice to have everyone on board. And on those friendly notes, it's a time for me to wrap things up and then I get to go do some laundry. Yay! Uh, anyway, uh, be good and uh, be kind, everyone. Uh, take care of yourselves. And as I always say, please, please, tell your loved ones that you love them tonight, for tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Take care, a good night, and oink, oink.